guys, it's Kugli again with another video and this time I've got the Havoc ROM version 2.0. Yes, I know I have already done a review for this one, but I am revisiting this one because it has had a lot of changes. Uh, it has added a lot of stuff which uh, I feel like uh, there needs to get out. It needs to be known to people. So let's get started. <laughs> So guys, the Havoc ROM, it is one of the biggest ROMs in my opinion for the OnePlus 3. Uh, it started out on the OnePlus 3, it is now available on a lot of other ROMs. It's one of the great ROMs which is gonna make history which is really really great. So I'm really happy about that. So with that said, let's get to the ROM. Now first of all, yeah, ambient display is available, pickup sensors and all are available which you will see. I'm using my custom launcher because this is my daily drive on right now. Uh, I am using Nova launcher. It comes with a uh, pixel launcher and Google now launcher. So both of them works really, really well. I like pixel launcher more than quick step and um, it does come, it does have the quick step and the pie style features, but I mean, I'll get to that later, but still there are a few. Th First of all, the biggest change in my opinion is that little icon there. Do you see that, right? That's the VLT icon. Yes, it was always uh, working with VLTE, but this one actually has the icon, which I really, really prefer. It's available. There are a few more things which I'll get into. Let's go to the About Phone page. In the About Phone page, you can see that this is for the OnePlus 3. Um, I'm using both the SIMs. As you can see, I'm using Geo. Geo works very well. No issues at all there. It is Android Pie. Uh, version 9.0 October security patches November has not started yet. This is the version and it is using the Holy Dragon 02.0 kernel, which is amazing. I recently had a chance to use this kernel on its own ROM and that is probably one of the best ROMs out there. I mean, the battle life is amazing. This one also gets a lot of those um, features, but I mean, granted, this is not perfectly that one, but there are a few things which I do want to get into that. So yeah. It is using Holy Dragon Kernel. If you are a fan of that, you will be a fan of this ROM too. Let's just uh, jot down a few changes because I have actually written down what are all the changes from the last ROM review which I did for the Havoc ROM. So as I already said, VOLD icon is available which is pretty awesome. It does work out. Also one more thing is that it has gone to a OTA style updater. So you do have an inbuilt OTA. This one is not the Delta update which I would have liked but the OTA style updater is still better than the one which you, where you have to go and check out if there is a new option and all that. The kernel as I've already said is 0.2.0 so that is the latest version that has a very good balance of performance, battery life and even all the stability which you, it grants so that's really really great. Let's get to the Havoc settings where all the extra settings are. Before that everything else works, no issues there. Stability wise this ROM is rock solid. I didn't really have much of a crash or anything using this ROM right now. In the previous version there were some issues with system UI crashing and all that. I couldn't use that as a daily driver. So status bar option, uh, all the stuff is basically what you would expect same uh, nothing special going on here uh, everything is there there is this Bluetooth battery status indicator which you can enable which is really cool if you want a full rundown of all the features which I'm not covering here because I have already covered that in my previous video uh, you can go check out the link in the description that is where I have done the previous version of this ROM uh, same thing Pi 2.0 but the this one is the updated one so if you want to get the rundown on all the other options you can go that it does have a VLT icon uh, enable or disable but it does require a system UI reboot so that's just how it is. The old mobile cell uh, options is still available which I really like. 4G option is available, show data disable icon which is the X on the uh, icon there. Now in the quick setting panel everything basically is uh, the same thing, uh, everything works, nothing special here. Again you do have the Bluetooth battery status style which is really cool. You can also have that in the Bluetooth battery options. Now something else which is in the quick setting panel is that the brightness, the high brightness trial has been added which is one of the most requested feature for this device you do have that tile here and it does work out really well i i personally feel that if you don't add this tile with the high brightness mode then what's the freaking point i mean if you have to dig through the settings for the high brightness thing you might as well just disable the auto brightness and slide it over so yeah it uh it's one of those things which i really like and that is it in this one uh interface settings there is one more 
more thing which is the QS style style so you can see there are a lot of styles available now this is the one which I'm using which is Oreo with the trim Oreo circle with the trim you can have a lot so if you select circle trim so that is uh, the pie option it does require a system you are reboot this is the pie option with the circle trim it works wonders it actually changes the look of the ROM very very well in the ambient display there is the now playing options I'm not really sure if this was available in the other ROM but uh, it is there now battery level can be enabled uh, all the options are available tilt the pickup and uh, proximity sensors are available which is pretty cool in the navbar options you do have a few more options so you can enable disable the pixel animation which is pretty cool and also there is the one-handed mode so if you are someone who uses one-handed mode it is it now supports one-handed mode and a lot of ROMs have started to use that so that is pretty cool but anyways one-handed mode is amazing if you want to use the one-handed mode and uh, not use the uh, extra thing you can actually disable that and use that it should work out really well so don't worry about that if you are not someone who uses navbar and still want to use one-handed mode but that is still a workaround rather than an actual fix so i would like to have that uh, address in the next version and the gesture options a lot more features have been added so it does have swipe gestures which is the carbon swipe gestures with the uh, uh, screen on and you can use number of fingers to determine how, uh, how much or whatever gesture is enabled edge gestures are available if you are someone who uses edge gestures you can have that that is back button and all that i'm personally don't not a huge fan of these gesture options because that does this does uh, interfere with some applications which uses the sidebar menu like sync um, so I'm, that is there app circle bar is still available which is really cool pie controls are also available if you are someone who uses pie it does work out really well so as you can see pie controls works out and uh, it's it, it's the uh, new pie option from AOSPA really cool I really like that now apart from that in the lock screen options there is options for uh, hiding elements in the lock screen so you can enable that and uh, it actually gives the lock screen a very very clean look I didn't want to hide the status bar but if I could I would actually do that also because something which I really really would have liked is uh, having the uh, town name on the um, weather option that is available with a few ROMs like uh, Skydragon and MSM Extended. I really, really like that because that will give me that perfect, uh, in my eyes, perfect representation for Nogat because Nogat had that. Now, in the recent option, so you do have option to change the recent style to Oreo or Pi. Right now, I'm using Oreo. This is the one with the... Uh, the um, clear all button here you can also change the uh, change it to pi option so these are options available pi option does not have things like a uh, clear all button which i would have loved to have so these are some things which you need to understand or need to keep in mind when you are using this rom and uh, with the audio style recent options there are a lot of more options you can customize everything basically also there is the familiar omni switch option if you are someone who uses omni switch hey mate kudos to you now in the device options uh, everything basically which was there available previously was also there high brightness mode is available screen calibration options has gone through a little bit more changes so that's pretty amazing right i really like this one uh, you can actually customize what all the uh, this thing is what all screen preferences you can use and also there is a handy dandy little window to see the changes so that's really really amazing it's just one of those nicety features which is really cool one thing to note is that it doesn't have that hyper saturated dynamic mode which i personally like that one in the old uh, lion engine mod roms and even the cr droid had that I would have loved to have that but this is an AOSP based ROM so I'm not going to hold my breath for that. And that is it in the extra settings. If you are someone who is coming from previous uh, Havoc ROM and you are still using ha that Havoc which I don't understand why but if you want to try out the new Havoc ROM these are the stuff which is available in this one. Now let's back, uh, let's back up because previously I did not grade the Havoc ROM because that was one of the first ROMs which I flashed after coming back from vacation so well let's do that now right. Um, here is the here is my thoughts on the uh, version right now feature wise it's one of the best it has almost all the features as it will all you have already seen that it has filled in all the blank spots which was available or which was there with other ROMs and uh, I just freaking love it I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 for features now the battery life the battery life as I've already said due to the kernel due to the optimization I don't know why the battery life has been pretty amazing I mean I'm not really I'm gonna say that it is the best or it's so much more amazing than other ROMs but uh, the battle life has been pretty good for me in my opinion uh, idle rain is somewhere in the neighborhood of 1.3 to 1.4 percentage which is okay I can live with that uh, the active rain is somewhere between 14 to 15 percentage again something which I can live with 
but the thing is it comes with spectrum support and you can actually tailor make everything i'm not going to include spectrum support uh, for battle life and performance overview but it's gonna get a little bit more score because you have the option for that right now it is using interactive kernel um you can switch to some other kernel and it will work out really well it does have alley card it does have darkness kernel which is the battery pro preset it does have nightmare it does have everything which is available and it does work out really well so you can see nightmare kernel this is darkness this is uh, performance kernel so balance run is where i did all my performance scoring but i mean it works i really like that i'm gonna get a 7 out of 10 for battle life now the performance of the rom the performance of the rom is pretty cool it works it really really does work the uh and to do benchmark score which i received was about 158,926 which is an amazing average score and after that i got a higher score which i'm not really sure why i'm just gonna load pubg the last rom which i reviewed the sky dragon rom had a great battle great performance score it was the highest scoring rom which i got with pi for that nitrogen rom had that title and uh, for the most part nitrogen rom worked really well i didn't really have any issues with that i'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out to be this one has a great performance I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for performance because it is actually pretty cool. So there you have it guys, that is the PUBG experience with this core and um, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, it works and I am really happy about how it has turned out. Not the best experience anyways, um, I'm not really a big mobile gamer but uh, you know, it works. Now comes the stability of the ROM. The stability of the ROM is also pretty rock solid. Did not have any crashes, did not have any issues with anything. I'm just really happy about that. Again, this is one of those ROMs where I don't have an issue with my call uh, dialer, uh, switching the audio back to my uh, phone, which is great. I don't have much issues with, I have a lot of issues with other ROMs. Like MXM Extender is one prime example where I had that issue and that is the only reason I'm not using MSM Extended. So that is one thing. So now give it a 7 out of 10 for stability. Now the camera. The camera, I mean, this is the only ROM which uses Google camera, which is amazing i really like google camera it has almost everything working really really well it has hdr it has uh, auto hdr stuff i mean if you are someone who uses google camera you will appreciate that if you're not someone who uses google camera well you should be using google camera so that's just what i want to talk about i'm gonna give it a 6.5 out of 10 for camera now the aesthetics of the rom the aesthetics of the rom is pretty damn decent it does have extra features but this uh, dark mode does have its own problems which i have mentioned in my other rom reviews were uh, something like CR droid were selecting white accent borks out everything else uh, there is issue with text black on black text and all that in autofill menu and all that which kind of is jarring personally i can live with that though right now because it is okay i'm gonna give it a 6.5 out of 10 for aesthetics because it does actually have a lot more a few more options which is a really really cool i really like that now the overall experience of the rom the overall experience of the rom is amazing it just works it it works really really well i'm okay with that as i've already said this is my current daily driver it just is that good uh, personally there is no good better rom for me it is stable it has decent battery life it has great performance the features are really really out there uh the only other rom which has more features than this is in my opinion msm extended and well msm extended i've already mentioned what the issue is for me yeah it just works really really well uh one more thing which i do want to mention is that in the settings menu it does have proximity speakerphone works out really well bluetooth auto answer is also available and also call recording really cool i really like that and uh it it just basically works so that is the main thing i want to i want you guys to take away from this one so yeah i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 for overall experience so guys that is probably it for uh this rom i'm not going to show you guys the boot animation because it's the same boot animation they were talking about changing the boot animation but they did not and uh, this video has already gone on for too long it's already 21 minutes on my camera which uh, it's gonna overheat soon so anyways the final score is coming to about 7.26428705 which will bring the score to 7.3 which is an astonishingly amazing score i really like this rom and uh, you should actually try this once because in my opinion this is the flagship custom rom for the oneplus 3 if you want to show off your device to someone who is using a newer device and doesn't get everything they want show this rom with the OnePlus 3 or OnePlus 3T and uh, just let them know that this is the wonderful world of custom ROM. So 
yeah i guess that much is it about the ones and hope you guys like the video please just subscribe and like the video if you want useful see you guys next time bye